Chug. Chug Bungus. The Yorker. Here today on what is actually a Saturday, um, January 26th, 2019. I said it was a Saturday. Welcome, how's it going? Hope all is good with all of you. Uh, we had a... I know some people got the Martin Luther King Jr. Day off. It's so good for you fuckers, I didn't. So... Yeah, whatever. I can't argue too much. Pays decent. And it's a, j a job, right? So, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, again, yeah, I don't think I'll be showing the time just cause, but, um, yeah, kind of walked into this blind today. Not really sure what to talk about, but, um, <sighs> my goodness graciousness. Oh, yeah. No, didn't mention. I'll mention it now. So, what what, 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 what are you trying to accomplish here, Chug? Okay, well, let me try to tell you what I'm doing here. What, what I'm doing is rambling and bumbling. Now, you might be like, okay, I know what rambling is. That's when you just talk a lot of shit. You know what? Let's ask Google. Hey, Google. What is rambling? Okay, there you go. And then there's bumbling. Hey, Google. What is bumbling? Alright, so hopefully it's not incompetent, but yeah. Bumbling is basically, I'm just... That's gonna be when I'm going online just to see if I can figure some shit out. This fucking alarm. I got this fucking watch. It was seven bucks, right? Nice, but I don't know how to deactivate the fucking alarm, right? I keep pressing the, the top right button, and I guess that just snoozes it? I don't know, so I try to just press the bottom right one. Hopefully that shuts it the fuck up. If anybody knows how this shit works, because I read the fucking uh, instructions, and they didn't tell me how to put the alarm on or take it off or whatever, but... Yeah, no, this one isn't bad. It's a uh, pretty good... I guess that's what I, fuck, I guess that's what we're talking about today, but, um, it, I got a Velcro one, cause, uh, last one I had, it was that, like that bell buckle kind of thing, right, but that one was pinching me, and I, I, I couldn't figure out why, and I was like, you know what, what, what if I put it on my wrist, like, exactly on my wrist, and I was like, ah, that must be it, and, you know, I think, I don't know if that's retarded, if that's how you're supposed to do it. But this one, I can slide it back as far as I want or whatever. You know, I like having it, you know, right under the wrist. Um, it's pretty comfortable comparatively. I got it for $8.50. I only get digital ones so I can get, um, use timers and shit on that. I like having that timer, but the fucking alarm is really annoying. Uh, uh apparently they use them stopwatches in uh germany yeah what was it no what was it normandy beach yeah allies because that way apparently it comes really in handy if you're in the military or something right you're like okay everybody set your clock or uh, your stopwatch is right now everybody come back to this exact location in six hours right so you can kind of do whatever you want but then you know if, <laughs> if it accidentally gets paused or something that's gotta really fucking suck man <sighs> So, yeah, I think I uh, saw it on the History Channel or something. So, yeah, I'm not really um, sure what to talk about today. Maybe I should, um, I don't know, could do some web browsing or something. What do I have in my book? Montana Oil Rigs. Okay, yeah, let's talk about that. I guess I can't think of anything better. No. Well, Chuck, what about that age of consent thing you always want to be talking about? I'll fucking tell you about that shit later. Okay, this should be recording the screen now. Bam. Okay. What is it? Look, what is it? We're at 4 minutes and 30 seconds. You're a little higher, but whatever. Okay. So, yeah. <sighs> I'm not really sure what to do. I gotta make sure that talking way that you guys are, in case you're just listening to audio. Because I sometimes li like to listen to audio, you know, if I'm... I'm doing laundry, you can, uh, if you're doing laundry, you can, you know, watch something and hear it too, but if you're doing something else, you can only, like, listen to it. Okay, oil rig jobs in 
What was it, Montana? Ben Shapiro was talking last week. What was he doing? Entry level jobs. It was funny. I was, I was talking to my friend, right? Um, yeah, he was saying how uh, one time he went to, what was it, Montana or something, and it was, uh, fuck, they tried to like stay at a Motel 6 or something, or like a hotel. What, what are those high end, um, <laughs> high end motels? What is it? Like a inn? Hotel inn? Motel inn? I don't know. But, um, Apparently, like, sometimes they just rent the whole fucking place out for, um, just the oil workers. Because you go there and you work for, like, two weeks straight or two months straight, right? I guess you're on, on call or something, I don't know. Okay, entry level oil rig. Oil jobs. Oil? What is an oil rig? Um, hey Google. What is an oil rig? Okay, well, okay, so I guess that's offshore, so entry level oil field jobs, there we go, so oil rig is off in the fucking ocean, and uh, oil fields, I guess, in Texas and stuff, apparently Texas is kicking ass with the fucking oil they got there, they've been pumping that shit since, what, the late 1800s, and they still, still fucking, get, they got it there, it's no problem, I know Alaska, you get a fucking check, in the mail, apparently, in Alaska for fucking just being Alaskan, right? For because they make so much money off the fucking oil, you know. I, I, that might just be, you know, they're trying to keep people to stay up there. I, I don't know any of you fuckers want to be going up to Alaska for no reason, but you know that's gotta help. Like how they gotta, you know, give you a tax benefit, a break or whatever if the more kids you have, because to try to encourage people to have kids. But okay, finding an entry level. Oil field job has been hard. What? Recent crash. What? What? Right now on drillers.com. Uh, shoot, this. I'm not reading all this shit. When was this published? Fuck. Can't figure that out, no? Oh, April 12, 2008 by Jason Lapis. Okay, cool. Finding entry level job. During the recent crash. 2008, there's not a crash. What, oil's not worth this much? Financial level job and da 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 has been more difficult. Da 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 has certainly been the case for new industrial entrants, but has also affected people as stated that the career made people with decades of experience have struggled to find suitable positions for their education. Da da da, it's worth mentioning that exploration is getting boring. What, what? Problem that affected a large number of people stepping down the ladder was increased. What? Oil and gas job prospects improving around the world. Here are a few tips, okay. Remember that you're not up against statistics or guidelines. You're up against the other candidates for the position. Okay, so that's one. There are a few jobs that don't require an experience and true level. Okay, for offshore work, uh, rust about, roused about, R-O-U-S-T, about, I don't know what that is, is a truly entry it's truly an entry level. Okay, for land drilling, floor hand is a good entry level. Okay, just type that up. Floor hand oil uh, oil field job. How much does it pay? Uh, that uh, uh, let me see. Floor hand oil floor hand oil field. Um, pay, salary, whatever. Oh shit, on no, the less side, 63,000. Wait, the average annual ranges between, okay, so half people make less than 63,000 to 80,000, half make more than 63,000, 80,000. Okay, roughneck. As a roughneck, you will be a member of the drilling crew. Job responsibilities include long and physical demand and hours, clean the rig, maintaining drilling equipment. That's still very good, so half of them. Hmm. Anything good in Montana? 26 an hour. Where did I just see that? Where did I just see that? Indeed. Fuck. $26 an hour. Oh, shit. Damn, this is fucking nice. Okay, so we got a Tomco company. 26 to $28 an hour. This is an oil field rig hand. 
Jesus fucking Christ. San Santa Paula. Where's Santa Paula? California. Santa Paula. California. Can I see it on the map, please? Ooh. Got this bad pimple on me. <sighs> okay, where's that? It's a little north from Los Angeles. So, yeah. Where's that? Looks about 100 miles north of Los Angeles. North, 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 uh, northwest. So, damn, that's good. $26 now. That's an entry level position. Damn. Fuck. I see why Ben Shapiro keeps talking about this. I'm starting to get bored here, though. $51 a day. Okay, never mind. I thought that was an hour. <laughs> Start scared. I was like, whoa, that's a lot of fucking money. 51 a day. What is that? 51 divided by 8. You know, you work 8 hour a day. That's $6.30. $6.30 rounded up. $6.38 a day. Or hour. $6.38 an hour. That's fucking... That's fucking peanuts. What the fuck? How how long are you working? Working safe. Da, da, da. You need a minimum of three years experience to get $51 a day. What kind of bullshit? Wait, hold up. Forehand snapshots. Full time. Need three years. Uh, minimum starting rate is 18. An hour? Damn. Okay, that's pretty good. Oh, lodging and $51 per DM. What's a per DM? Uh, what's a DM? D-I-E-M. Okay. A Vietnamese politician. I don't think that's what I'm looking for. Per DM. There we go. Latin for per day or for each. A daily allowance is a specific amount of money an organization gives to an individual, often an employee, per day to cover living expenses when traveling for work. Oh, damn. Oh, so they give you $51 a day to f fucking buy food or what? Damn. And that's from Wikipedia. Just per DM. Okay. Damn. That's really nice. Holy shit. So you get 18 hours. What is, what is that? 18 hours... Oh, no, $18 an hour, 18 times 8 hours a day, and then times 5 days a week. It's probably more than that. 720, that's for 4 taxes. What is that times 52, because it's 52 weeks a year? 37,000, that's it? That can't be right. No, you're making 18. 18 times 40. That's a week. You make 720 and there's 52 weeks in a year. Is that right? Then what the fuck do, like, minimum wage, what does $10 get? How many fucking dollars is that? Is that like 18 grand a year? Time, eight, 10 times 40 hours a week times 52 weeks in a year, 20,000. Okay. I guess I was wrong there. Okay. Man. Starting to get a little bored here. I don't know, why don't we watch a video online? Yeah. Yeah, Chug, that seems like a good idea. YouTube. Okay. So, floor hand. Entry level. Oh, yeah, 13 minutes. Entry level uh, oil field jobs. I'm not sure if I want to sign it on this. I uh, have information for you guys to see or whatever. So, um... I don't know what that's gonna do. I mean, I'm fine with you seeing my profile, or whatever. But let's take a look. Okay, working in the oil field. Snap your no. And file fed and state for free. I don't need. Oh, I gotta do taxes this year, huh? It's 4:30 in the morning. Today's a big day. If they finished. They're part of work at the job site on the night shift, and that means we're going to go in and go off short tip. Okay, really quick, this is working in the oil field. It's got like right under 12,000 views. It's by Stefan Bellin. Okay. <laughs> you see, we've been struggling with this one piece of the job. We've had to spool up this pipe, but the welders are taking forever. And so if we go in today and they finished, and we're going to be going offshore later to this afternoon and dropping off this piece of paper. Going offshore? I thought oil field was uh, on land. 
Okay. Great edits. Stefan would wouldn't you recommend to go into a field as an as an engineer instead? Do you see yourself finishing an engineering degree? Love the video. These are just comments. I'm a senior in high school and looking forward to working in the rigs. As soon as I graduate, I have my dad that works at oil field and many other family members. What's some advice you would give? Seven o'clock in the morning. Unfortunately, night shift. He didn't give any advice. The weather's been holding us up. Don't blow your money. Realize this industry is always up and down. Okay. Rain and wet. There's nice. Hopefully today we'll get some stuff done. We're not going offshore today. So that's the big news. We're not going offshore today. We'll probably go offshore tomorrow. Let's skid some of these reels around the around the boat that we're on, and then hopefully tomorrow around noon we'll be going offshore. But but right now we got a little bit of work to do to get ready for all this. Shit. Yeah, my friend also mentioned that uh, you might get paid like you know eighty thousand dollars a year starting off, but you know you don't get that money for free. You fucking work for it really hard. Alright, so he's just putting some hoses, moving them, attaching them. This whole skids cart's gotta slide over that way so we can plug into the other reel. Oh, he works for Shell, huh? Jesus, that thing is fucking huge. What is that? A conveyor? It's like some giant sliding thing. Jesus fucking Christ, looks like the, it's like a Hitler cannon, except it's orange. Mmm. <laughs> What if the Nazis had used orange instead of red? That would have been would have been weird. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't have been weird because it would have been normal had they done it. But that, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? All right. So it looks like he's just working, just overseeing automatic processes, making sure they're okay. It's frustrating out here sometimes because there's only so much we can do on our end. We have to wait on the other people, and if they don't hurry up and do their stuff, we can't do our stuff. So then we're just kind of sitting here with our hands tied. It's not a bad gig. It's not a bad gig at all. I, I just hope I make it home in time for Christmas. They'll send us Okay, home. yeah, so he's in he's in not the water. So he's in the ocean. Uh, he's right off the coast, actually. I wonder where this is. Typical day at work, that's all it says. Yep. That's all it says. Okay, well, I get that. How much money did I make a year? What you need to know before applying to work in the... And that's it. There's no such thing as a perfect writer. Grammarly. Jesus. To check my work. If I'm putting... Hello. I don't know. I might get Grammarly, but, I, you know, I think I'm pretty smart. Okay, this is what? What you need to know before applying to work in the oil field by J. Flatout. J flat out. Yeah, this is from 2017. Uh, September 20th. Oh, welcome, guys. No vlog today, but I do have an information video for you. Um, I know a lot of guys consider going to the oil field, doing the oil business, whether it be in Texas, North Dakota, Oklahoma, whatever. Um, Texas, North Dakota, I Oklahoma. I, I need to write that down. Two years ago, there, were, there was quite a lack of information. And I know it's been a couple of years, but there's also been another fall of oil. Uh, when I went, it was about $110 a gallon, and it dropped down to $25 a gallon. <sighs> Climbing again, so interest in the oil field might be raising again soon. So I thought I'd put together a little bit video of things that I experienced and things that I would do and avoid if you're going to decide to go and work in the oil industry. Now, there's obviously Texas oil fields, Oklahoma, North Dakota, but the biggest two are obviously Texas and North Dakota. I worked personally in North Dakota. They pay a little bit more than Texas, obviously, because it's... Uh, Less appealing. They're winning, <laughs> Not everything's big and there, huh? Appealing, so they have to pay Damn. To get people up there. I have no idea where North Dakota is. I'm going to type that out. I know it's East Coast, right? Up to being North like a man the on an actual Dakota. Rig. I'm not going to go over every job, but where I was... She North fucking Dakota, Google does this. It shows you it, but it only shows you that. It's like, no, I need the reference to where it is versus everything else. Okay. Oh shit, I thought that, I'm completely wrong, I thought that was, com Jesus Christ, it's like, okay, dead center in the country at the top, I did not know North Dakota was there, Jesus, you're fucking with Canada weather. Fly-by-night contractors, why is that? 
one, you have to be in North Dakota to get a job. Absolutely not. I applied. I went through everything uh, in Las Vegas and only in North Dakota when I had a guaranteed job. You can do the same if you have the skills to back up your resume or if you have the skills that are required for that job. There's no reason for you to be there. You'll go up there. You'll take the drug test. You'll sit for, you know, a day in the company house while they verify your drug test. Don't go if you're on drugs. They won't hire you. <laughs> don't waste your time. Don't waste their time. Once you pass the drug test, they put you to work. Um, depending on what you're doing, you want to make sure that you go with a company that has housing available. I know guys who are splitting a studio apartment. What the code jobs? I'll type buckets, that up. Four guys in a studio, and they're still paying like eight hundred dollars a month each. You need to make sure that you go with a reputable company that has a housing situation well. plan in place for you at a man camp or. You're still going to be sharing a house because, you know, you're just not going to get your own place. But it's better to do that than, you know, be living in a truck or living in a tent or living in your truck. Uh, a lot of guys pull their RVs up there and plan to live in that. You can do that. But, again, remember, a monthly RV experience in a work town might over be rig floor hand. A month in, in North Dakota. Dixon, you're North Dakota. To seven or eight hundred. Also, if your RV is not winterized. Uh, you know, that's going to be a for probably five months out of the year. Shit. I guess so, right? You got to make your RV to where you can fucking survive bad weather. How do you winterize RV? Fuck the oil rigs. We're going to type that up now. Huh. How to winterize an RV. Jesus Christ. I'm not looking at that. Someone just explained to me what it is. Hey Google, what is winterizing an RV? Okay, well that's shit, apparently. I'm not looking into that anymore. <sighs> I'm kinda of bored with this now. What else you wanna do? Um there's a lady working at an oil rig, Jacqueline Horb. What women on oil rigs? What kind of fucking world do we live in? Uh, this is crazy. My oil field job experience from Jacqueline Horb, February 25th, 2018. Jesus, she's too pretty to be working. <laughs> Alright, well, I think I'm kind of done with this. Let's uh, let's see uh, Ben Shapiro. Ben Shapiro, oil rigs. Alright, oil getting stumped. Fracking is a miracle. Thought it would crowd her. Fracking saved Obama's economy. What? Oil. What are we at? We're at like 23 minutes. How long you want to do this, Chug? I don't know, I think it kind of died down. Like, we were having a fun time, but now it's just... Where are we having a fun time, Chug? Not really. It's almost like doing homework. I guess I'm doing this so you guys don't have to. This probably isn't going to be too helpful, but apparently the one guy said Texas has some good jobs. Uh, North Dakota has some good jobs. Oklahoma has some good jobs. Where the fuck is Oklahoma? Okay, so Oklahoma's that fucking skillet right above Texas, that skillet shape. North Dakota's, like, at the top, like, where Texas is, just go just go up, as up as you can, and that's North Dakota. Um, what the fuck is Otwa? Oh, that's Canada's capital. Why wouldn't you put it so close to another country? What if we just took that over, huh? Ot Ottawa. Ottawa, Canada. Dude, look at that shit. We wouldn't even... Dude, it's right next to water, too, right? You could just send some Marines, like, over here. Let's see. Yeah, send some from Michigan, right here, at the at the, the bottom, but the, the bottom half, the top part, just send some, you know, troops to here. They got Otois from there, and then you go marching from New York. That, dude, you fucking got Canada, just like that. Just like that. Fucking took over Canada. <laughs> Is this what you think about, Chug? 
Now, hey, come on. Why would you put a capital? Let's let's look at that, huh? Worst capitals. Worst place capital capital cities. Yeah, in the world. All right, I guess we're getting fun here. 23 major cities with the worst quality of life. No, crappy capital cities. Worst located. Worst located. Capital, ah, capital cities. Crappy capital cities. Which, which has the worst place? State capital with the worst location. There we go. No, I don't want to fucking the veil. I'm just trying to figure out, like, why would you... What's South Africa? I think South Africa had a pretty bad one. It was, like, right next to another country. South... Jesus. Africa capital. Is that Johannesburg? No? Cape Town? Is Cape Town the capital? Does that have three capitals? What? I'm going here. Google can do that thing. Dude, they have two capitals at least. What the fuck? Hold up. So is that Pretoria? Sounds like a predator. Oh, is that another country? No, that's not another country. Is that another country? No, that's just outline of that. Blow, blow me, hefe. Huh. That's Botswana. What's going on in Botswana? Anything interesting? That's right above South Africa. <sighs> Sorry, guys. I never said this was going to be interesting. But hey, figure some stuff out about oil rigs. Let's look at Botswana. Anything going on with Botswana? Boom. Drag this over here. Look at that. It's fucking magic. Right there you go. News in Bot. Swana M what is that? M Meggy M M E G I dot B W. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh if you live in the United States like a normal fucking person, then you end it with dot com. If you if you live in another country you gotta put your country's initials. What is it? Z A for South Africa. I think it's UK in the UK. What is the UK um website? No, URL shortener. What is it? Dot UK, yeah. You know I I thought UK I thought the UK Britain and England were all the same thing. And apparently that is not true at all. I'm gonna type that up right now. Fuck Botswana. UK versus, what is it? Uh, da, 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 da. What did I just say? Britain versus England. Yeah, what the fuck is that? Okay, the United Kingdom of Great Britain. Okay, so they are the same thing? What the fuck? No, the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland to give its full name, first the political union between England, Wales, Scotland, and Northern Ireland. So that's the UK, England, Wales, Scotland, North Ireland. The UK is a sovereign state, but the nations that make it up are also countries in their own right. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> Wanna look into this? No. Do you? Nah, let's just look at this picture. I will judge the rest of whatever happens in right here off of this picture. Okay, so Great Britain is the island. The the one to the right, the bigger one. It's the whole island. It includes Wales, England, Scotland. The United Kingdom gets gets Northern Ireland, but then the Republic of Ireland is out of that. And then what, the British Islands? What? Okay, so England is like a land thing. It is the it is a sm small country. What the fuck? I don't know how to describe this if you're just listening on audio. But England is like Britain is the whole island. England is part of the island. And then yeah, whatever. We're done with that. Let's go back to Botswana. What's going on Botswana today, huh? <sighs> okay. So we're on M M E G I dot B W. 
Uh, the no, I don't need a fucking job, indeed. Maybe I should. Maybe I should go with one of those oil rigging jobs. What do we have? Oh damn, man! Like thirty minutes. Okay. That that uh, what is this? Last updated Friday, twenty fifth January two thousand nineteen, which would be yesterday, which is Friday. And what is this? Re. Re. Echolitzing. Oh, that's the guy's name. Thank God. I thought this wasn't another language. Rec Recolesting <laughs> quits BNSC. All right, sure. Let's check that out. Anything interesting? Botswana? <clears throat> probably not. It's probably just fucking... I don't know. Botswana. You never... I've never... You know, no one ever brings up a conversation, so it's probably not that good there. Okay, Red Sling has been at the helm of BNS for eight years, but dropped the bombshell on Thursday morning. He said he did not want to... Personal issues. Who's this by? This is written by Calit Calistus Colantio. All right, whatever. They deserve leadership that is accountable. Ugh, let's just watch a fucking video. I don't want to see this shit. Botswana. Let's go to YouTube. Oh, they got a nice flag. It's like. Cool looking ish. If you didn't see it, what is it? This one? Just like mid, like a gray blue, like between baby blue and gray blue. And just fucking small black stripe with surrounded by two white ones through the middle. Okay, Holmes. Let's look at Holmes. Yeah. How's uh, mansions? Mansions? Jesus, this looks like fucking Nevada. This isn't bad. <laughs> Remax. Oh, ZA. That's South Africa. Yeah, what the fuck? I typed in Botswana. Property for sale in Botswana. Da, 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 da. Have much to gain. Okay, so I guess I'm trying to... This is a pitch right here from Remax. That CO. That ZA, which is South Africa, I'm pretty sure. All right, buyers, renters, and investors have much to gain from purchasing property for a sale in Botswana from Remax. The houses, apartments, and land currently offered via our estate agents are undoubtedly some of the country's finest. This is their finest. <laughs> it's like some fucking just the brick house. That damn, eighty-five hundred thousand Botswana. Dollars BWP BWP to USD. Yeah, let's figure out what that is. 85. This is how much I charge for a house, right? That's 85. 850,000. That's what I meant to say, which would be $81,000 and some shit for US dollars, huh? This thing. Who's gonna live here? It's literally just like a fucking bricks. Put together, like it looks like somebody started to build a house and then like a war came and then they're like, fuck that, I'm not finishing up that house. Damn. For sale in Gaborn and North. Where's Gaborn and North? How is Botswana? I'm trying to figure out like, what Chuck, what, you gonna move there? Oh, then no, Gaborn, that's the capital, okay. In the southern part. See, Gaborn. See, Botswana. They have a shitty capital, too. It's right next to another fucking country. Why are you doing that to yourself? See, Namibia knows what the fuck is... Knows where it's at, right? It puts a dead center in the country. Hey, in order to get to our fucking capital, you gotta, you know, get to the middle of a fucking country. What? For, for, for whatever reason, God knows why you would put a fucking capital of a country... On the fucking edge of it, so the next, so the next, and it's right next to South Africa, which means back, you know, when they had that whole white power thing going on, they could have just fucking took that, and then, like, all of Botswana is theirs now. And then Zimbabwe is the little to the right of that. See, Zimbabwe kind of knows what's good, you know, you want, you want your capital kind of next to some water and shit, but still. Gabor, Gaborone, Gaborone. Hey Google, what is the capital of Botswana? Gaborone, okay. 
Okay. <clears throat> well, shit's been like 35 minutes. All right. Swaziland. Hold up. I want to still look at these houses. Um. Calculated. Why would you move here? What the fuck? See, look. There's white people and black people. White. What's the population of white people in uh, what is it, Botswana? Population of white people in Botswana. Total population. White Africans, 63,000. Okay, versus how many black people? Hold up. Okay. Botswana population. Population. So you got 2.2 million. And you got fucking white Africans of European ancestry. Botswana got 63,000. Okay. Um... Hey, Google, what is 2.2 million divided by 63,000? The answer is approximately 34.921. 34. 0.921. Would that be one out of 34, basically? Yeah, I think that's it, one out of 34 people. I don't know, I might be wrong, whatever. But damn, that's not a lot of white people. Who the fuck is paying that much for fuck? I mean, it's Remax. What the fuck is Remax doing in South Africa? Oh, Southern Africa. What is ZA? Is ZA... Dot ZA meaning... Is that South... Southern Africa? Or is that at South Africa? Okay, I see the fucking South African flag. Is the internet, uh, according to, I guess, Wikipedia, ZA is the internet country code for top-level domain of South Africa. The namespace is managed, regulated by ZA domain authority. Most domains are registered under the second-level domain .co.za. ZA hails from the Dutch Zood Afrikaanse. Afrikaans. There we go. <laughs> Afrikaanse. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I forgot. It's okay. Damn, who the fuck is buying this? Who has 83,000? How much do they make a year there, huh? How much money? Average income. Average income in Botswana. Well, we went, can you believe this, guys? We went all the way from uh, fucking oil rigs in North Dakota all the way down here. The fucking Botswana. <laughs> the fucking Gaborone. What is it again? Hey, Google. What is the capital of, uh, fucking Botswana? <laughs> Gaborone is the capital of Botswana. Gaborone. Gaborone. Okay. I think that's what I heard. Yeah, alright. Gaborone. That's so weird. What is the average income? Where did I type that in? I typed that in somewhere. Where is it? Fuck. No, I think I typed it on the other one. Average one. Whoa, hold up, hold up. Oh, that's national income. <laughs> it said $33.11 billion. And I was like, oh, hold up, whoa. The income? Average income per person, GNI. Welcome to Botswana. $33.11 billion. That sounds, that sounds good. Uh, wait. Okay, Botswana GNI per capita is 16,520. But the 520 is boldened. 520 USD. So is that $520, 520 US dollars a year? Or is that $16,520? You guys need to be more specific. What the fuck? <sighs> I don't want to know what they get paid in their fucking money because their money probably isn't even worth shit. We did the fucking math. What is it? It is 0 0.096 of United States dollar is one of their dollars. So what is that? That's like a dollar less. It their, if they bring you one of their fucking bills, the one bill there is worth less than a dime here. 
it's funny because I used to work at Target and we got, I got this Irish lady one time who walk, walked up to me, right? And, and I was like, oh, that's going to be uh, something and something and some change. And she tried to pay with change. And so she, I said, oh, this is a, what happened? She gave me, a, uh, I said, I need a dime. And then she gave me a nickel. And I'm like, uh, that's not a dime. And then she, she, she looked up with like terror in her face. She's like, but, but this is. So this isn't worth more than this one. I'm like, that's a dime. She's like, why isn't it bigger? <laughs> it's like, hey, I, I just fucking live here, okay? I didn't, I didn't decide the shit. That's what sucks. I mean, for foreign people, right? They try to come here, and then <laughs> the fucking there's not even like numbers on the money. Chug, what the fuck you talk about? I mean, like literal. We don't even specify the amount. We just ca call it a dime, right? Dime. What is that? See, look. Yeah, it doesn't even say, it doesn't even say, like, in English, 10 cents or have the, you know, the numeric 10 cents. It just says dime, and, you know, you're just supposed to know what the fuck that is, right? Is that quarters, too? Let's pull this out. I think we're done with Botswana today and Gaborona, which is the capital. Okay. Dime. Penny. I think they did that with the new pennies, didn't they? They made, they made it... Because they changed it from Abraham Lincoln's, you know, place he got shot or whatever is in the back of the fucking coin. Yeah, one cent. Okay, it says one cent. Okay. It's a penny. Does it say penny or does it just say one cent? Jesus. Yeah, it just says one cent. 1974. E plu... 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 I forgot how to say it. Okay, what's a quarter? Quarter. Okay. The back side says a quarter. Yeah, we don't have shit on our fucking bills. Let's go, what, what let's uh, type in British, British with a P. British coins in 2018. Yeah, let's go with that. Jesus Christ, I don't know what the fuck this is. Somebody killing a dragon. Uh, damn, I have no idea what any of this shit is. Nine, oh, they got a, uh, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They got a Septagon. What is it? Representation of the People Act. What is Representation of the People Act? Representation of the People Act. 1918. That's what it says on the coin. All right. Representation of the People Act. 1918 was an act of parliament passed to reform the electoral system in Great Britain and Ireland. It is sometimes known as the Fourth Reform Act. It was not until representation of other people, Equal Franchise Act, 1928, the, that women gained electoral equality. Oh, 1928 for women. Okay, so that's according to Wikipedia or whatever. Representation of the People Act, da 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 da, Parliament, da 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 da. Did it extend to England? Whatever. When did women get to vote in the U.S.? Women uh, get to write the vote. There we go, and that's how you say it. U.S. Thank you for knowing that I'm in the U.S., I don't give a fuck about other countries. <sighs> what was it? The Representation of People Act. Yeah, I don't, I don't want Britain. Eng England. England. U.S. U.S. 19th Amendment. Uh, women's right to vote passed. Uh, oh, a year later. Okay, 1919. On June 4th. Huh. Hey, let's ask Google. Hey, Google. What... Day of the week was June 4th, 1919. The 4th of June, 1919 fell on a Wednesday. Okay, Wednesday. They got the right to vote. That's really... <laughs> ah. Man, yeah, that's interesting. Well, what, what, what? Come on, Chuck. What, what? You didn't think it was going to be some day of the week? Why is Wednesday more interesting than any other day, huh? I mean, it's right in the middle of a work week, right? I mean, women weren't working back then as far as I know, right? They were, you know, homekeepers, whatever. But, you know, it's like, you know, on hump day, they get the right to vote, right? Versus, uh, 
you know, Friday is kind of like, well, you know, I'm going out to party, so I don't particularly give a fuck. Wednesday is like, you know, you're, you're kind of semi-business mode, right, to the point where you, uh, you know, it's just like, yeah, this is good, right? If it was like a Wednesday or Thursday, if it was like Sunday, you know, I wouldn't really care. Would you? What if they tallied the votes or whatever, and then they came in on Sunday, then like you didn't win, women still can't vote. <laughs> They're like, ah, oh, damn, we spent all this time working. It was an amendment, right? So they took a vote on it. How am I going to ask Google this? They took a vote on it. How am I trying to say this? What are you trying to say, Chuck? Okay, so women got to vote, but men had to vote for the right to women to vote. Yeah. Yeah, what was the vote to vote? Congress? Congress House? Yeah, because Congress does the amendments. Congress voted women suffrage, yeah. What was it? How many people voted for it? How many people voted against it? Okay, we're going to women's suffrage in the United States. Wikipedia. Boom. What was this last edited on January 23rd, 2019, which is Wednesday this week. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Congress. Uh, what was the vote? What was the vote? I want to see what the vote was. How many people voted in favor? What is this? Chug, this episode's going on pretty damn long. I know, I know, I know. But we have, I'm at 40, almost 47 minutes. Damn. Council of National Defense. Full suffrage. How many people, how, how many congressmen voted for women's 19th Amendment? Yeah, that'll help. 19th. Amendment. Okay. So this is from irb.co.uk. What the fuck? Why is it UK? Okay, whatever. Okay, when the House of Representatives passed the 19th Amendment in May 1919, it did so by 304 votes to 89. Okay, let's do some quick shitty math here, okay? So what is it? That's 304 to 89 versus 1. All right. 89 divided by 89 would be 1. So what's 304? To, hey, Google. What's 304 divided by 89? The answer is approximately 3.416. Four, okay. So, times that by 2, because that's almost 3.5. Hold on a second. 48. Um, ba, ba, ba. So, that's like 7. If you turn to 3 points. All right. So, 2 out of 7 of the guys in Congress voted like, Nah, I don't think this is a good idea. <laughs> when the Republicans were right. What? Oh. Oh. Like, morally right, I guess, is what you're saying. I thought they were saying, like, oh, Republicans were right to tell women not to vote. But, you know, that was back when it was kind of flipped, right? The Democrats were more, more so, like, conservative, and the Republicans were more so liberal, whatever. You think that's going to change again? You think it's going to change at some point? I know we're coming to a the fucking point in time where, I mean, I guess, I, I guess most people would say the left is... They're getting pretty far out there, right? And I know some people might go like, well, Chuck, Chuck, not. Come on. You can't say that. The right's going pretty far, too. You know, they had that fucking Hitler meeting. <laughs> the evil Hitler mastermind meeting. What was it last year? What was it? Charlottesville? When was Charlottesville? When was Charlotte? I can't spell that. That was Virginia, August 11th to 12th in 2017. So that was not last year, but the year before. Yeah, because Spike Lee made that uh, fucking Black Klansman movie. So yeah, you had enough time to throw that in there. 
which was a you know something. I I feel like for that whole thing with the oh no, Chug's gonna give his opinion. You're goddamn right, Chug's gonna give his fucking opinion on this. But for for that, it was a uh, the fact that Trump didn't say like man, fuck these white Klansmen or whatever. You know that's not that's fucked up. You can't you can't hit people. <laughs> well, you can't, you know, just, just do some fucked up like that. The fact that he said, hey, you know, they had, you know, bad people on both sides. I kind of understand that. I'm not empathizing with it, but, you know, I kind of understand what you talk about, Chuck. How, how you how are you going to defend the president? I'm not necessarily trying to defend him. I'm just saying, what do you say, Chuck? Well, I'm, what I'm saying is the fact that, right, he, bar- he barely got in the fucking office, right? And... He needed, like, basically every vote. He needed every vote that he got, basically, like, to, to be in, in office, right? He he won by a substantial margin in the, uh, uh, what was it, the Electoral College. Let's find out how much he won by. Uh, Electoral College 2016. Yeah, what was it? Results. What was it? What was it? Because he won, I think he won a, by, by a fair amount of points. Yeah. So it was, we are on 27702win.com. What is this? Yeah. What are we? Richard, whatever. I don't know. That's the website. So yeah, he won 306 and Clinton got 232. So according to this website. So, yeah, he won by a substantial margin of that, but, you know, she won the the popular vote, so he kind of needed it. So I get the the why he wouldn't... If, okay, let me say this. I'm not going to say this. If he didn't, like, say that was fucked up, he did say it wasn't fucked up. Well, no, what did he say? He said um, there were bad people on both sides, right? If he said that because he wants to keep all the people who voted for him to keep voting for him, you know, for the next election, if he was trying to do that so he doesn't alienate any of his base. I can understand that. If he did that because he truly felt like, um, well, you know, there are fucked up people on both sides. (sighs) I don't know, you know, about that. I'm not saying like, like, oh, fuck Trump or whatever. I'm just saying like, I don't, I don't know. Because who started swinging? And does that even matter? You know, right? I, mm. Right? Who started? Let's find that out. Let's do that. YouTube. YouTube. <sighs> Who start? Or no, let's not go on YouTube. Let's, you know, maybe that might be an article. Who swung first? Oh, in Charlottesville. See, I knew what I was trying to say. Okay. Who was responsible? weird okay so who was responsible for violence in Charlottesville okay this is from the LA Times which let me write that down 53 LA Times cuz I as far as I know you know I don't know that they're necessarily as left as New York Times well you saying that New York Times is biased Chug I'm I've heard some stuff like that I haven't particularly looked into it so I don't know but you know, I kind of I've started going into the New York Times being a little skeptical now. Not saying like, oh, they're left and they're all fake news. You know, everything they say is fucking bullshit. But you know, I heard about the Peterson uh, writing. You know, the forced monogamy thing. So that I don't, you know, I don't particularly think is truthful. So, but the L.A. Times, I think they had some about gamers way back in the day. Okay, so we're on L.A. Times dot com. Okay, who was responsible for violence in Charlottesville's in Charlottesville? Here's what witnesses say. Oh God almighty, here we go. We're gonna ask witnesses. We're gonna ask the people who showed up to the protests and the protest of the protest. We're gonna ask them and we're, we're gonna see dude, how is this not gonna be a fucking he said she said thing? It's just like, no, she started swinging at me or somebody. I was trying to put lift up this picket sign. Then they covered my pickup, picket sign with their picket sign and shit. Da, 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 then somebody got punched in the face. Okay. So this is written by Matt Pierce. And this is August 15, 2017. Hey, Google. When, what, what day of the week was August 15, 2017? 
The 15th of August 2017 fell on a Tuesday. Okay, so it's on Tuesday. When was Charlottesville? So August 15th. So that was three days after, three to four days after, because that was on the 11th and 12th. Okay. Let's see what this guy says. The clashes that broke out over the weekend at the white nationalist rally in Charlottesville, Virginia. And that was, here, throwing my opinion into this again. That was a problem with it. Um, Because they said, oh, Nazis were having a rally. And, you know, I've heard that so much that, like, I didn't realize. I just writ, writ it off because I, I didn't know that they a were actually Nazis, right? Because people throw around that fucking term. So I was like, oh, yeah, I'm sure that was the thing. But no, like Fox News and everything, they're like, yeah, they're having a Nazi rally and shit like that, right? And I was like, oh, an actual Nazi rally. It's not like people, you know, not like a white student body thing. You're saying that, what are you saying, Chuck? I know, well, I'm saying that, um, what was it? I know they have like black student body or groups or whatever. And then some people want to make white student body groups and that's kind of, that's kind of iffy, but it's at the same time, you know, it's like, well, you know, if, if you're going to have a fucking Korean something, then you should have a white one or, or maybe instead of having a black, uh, thing, you could go like a LA black thing. Or, you know, if you're from a certain country and, Africa, you could do something like that, right? Because if, if I'm on a college campus, right, let's say I'm a college student, and I, uh, what would I feel? If they had a white student club, it would be like, okay, well, this is kind of weird. But if they had a, uh, if they had, like, a Dutch student club, it would be like, okay, right? They had a, a Swiss student club, you know, a German student club, that would kind of be like, okay, okay, let's, you know, let's be a little careful there, right? But, uh, Right? Right? If they had a British club, I wouldn't give a fuck. So I think, like, if you're more specific, if it's an overarching fucking, like, white power club, that would, you know, be a bit scary. But if they're, like, Irish club, it's like, oh, shit. Let's go pick up some Irish chicks from there, right? But, okay. So the clashes that broke out over the weekend at the White Nationalist Rally in Charlottesville, <sighs> Virginia. I think that's what VA stands for, other than veterans. No, that's not true. All right. Have become a new touch touchstone in the na nation's long-running debate over racism, free speech, and violence. One woman was killed and many more injured when a car allegedly driven by a ra rally participant uh, sped into a crowd of anti-racism protesters. Two state troopers monitoring the action died in a helicopter crash later in the day. A helicopter fucking crash? Jesus Christ. How come nobody talked about that shit? Two state troopers monitoring the action died in a helicopter crash. Damn. Shit. What? I did not know that. I thought it was like a couple people got fucked up. I guess that was never mentioned. Okay. Anyway, let's continue. Though no foul play was suspected. Okay, so helicopter crashed for no reason. Or whatever. I'm sure there was a reason. Maybe it was just like engine failure or something. Whatever. Okay. The event quickly took on enormous political importance as Democrats and Republicans alike denounced the violence and the white supremacist views espoused at the far-right rally. President Trump has also denounced the racist groups, but he suggested anti-racism counter-demonstrators shared some of the blame. On Tuesday, he said both sides were responsible for bloodshed. Okay. Yeah. White supremacists and counter protesters clash in Charlottesville on Saturday. Okay, Michael Ni Nigro. Huh. It's an odd name. Is that the photographer? Pacific Press. Okay, whatever. What actually happened? Why is there a woman here? Edward Jones, consider your finances. I'm gonna let a woman run my finances. Yeah. <laughs> uh, don't, 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 don't pull my leg like that. Come on, everybody. <laughs> Chug, that's fucked up. It's a joke. Come on, I could make joke. <laughs> All right. Uh, da, da, da. Here are several first-hand accounts of Saturday's events in Charlottesville, collected from journalists, protesters, and far-right ra 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 ralliers who have published their accounts of what they saw that day. Oh, Jesus. Right? What, what did they say? Journalists? Okay, some journalists, you know, I'd say about half of them, are not biased. That might be true, that might be not, but that's where I'm coming from thinking. Protesters and far-right ralliers who publish their accounts of what happened. Right, so the journalist is the most 
just the person you could trust. If you're having protesters and you're having counter protesters and you're going to ask them what happened, like the pe you're asking the people who got into a fight, what the fuck happened? Yeah, they're going to go like, they're going to paint themselves in the best fucking light. All right, let's go with this. Charlottesville Daily Progress photographer Ryan Kelly said, I hitched a ride with my editor downtown. I started wandering the mall. There were groups on both sides scattered. There were a few small fights that broke out from time to time. People were throwing stuff at each other. A few people were beating on each other. Okay. BuzzFeed news reporter. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> I just automatically am not going to... Just my brain wants to not fucking deal with BuzzFeed at all. Okay. What what'd you say, Blake Monte Montenegro? No, was that Mont Montgomery? Blake Montgomery. Most white supremacists and Nazi groups arrived armed supremacists. Okay, so the bad guys, the white supremacists and the Nazi groups arrived armed like paramilitary force, carrying shields, protective gear, rods, and yes, Lots of guns, utilizing Virginia's loose firearms law. They used mit militarized defensive maneuvers, shouting commands at one another to move forward or retreat. See, I don't know about that, man. Are you sure they weren't just saying, go forward, pull back, pull back? <laughs> like, if that's all they said, I wouldn't count that as that. But if they're doing maneuvers like that Roman maneuver. Have you seen that fucking Roman maneuver? We'll come back to that, but... YouTube. What was it? Those Korean people did that, um, like, they have riot gear and shit. What was it? Korean Roman maneuver. Dude, like, the Romans knew what the fuck was up. They, they fucking... Here we go. What is this? La Ca... La, la, la C-S-A-B-I. Dude, if the fucking Nazis were doing this shit... <laughs> <laughs> that's that's something. No, this is their riot control in South Korea. They fucking know what's good, right? Watch them just like pull forward and shit. Wait, hold up. They know. <laughs> so this, I guess this is what the Romans did like two thousand years ago, right? Jesus, how do you fucking organize people to do shit like this? So yeah, they're just spreading out, closing in. Look at this. They do an angle. They're coming at an angle and shit. Dude, if the fucking Nazis were doing this, then I will completely agree with you that they were doing military maneuvers. <laughs> Imagine them doing this. That would be fucking terrifying. But, um... No, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I just don't trust BuzzFeed. That's my thing, right? You might... So, whatever. By continuing to use our site, you agree terms of service, whatever. <clears throat> Alright, whatever. <sighs> Our terms of service means we get to fuck your children. What? What? No, I didn't know. About, no. Okay, so shouting commands. Da, 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 we're back to Blade Monte, Montgomery. I want to say Montenegro. All right. Forward retreat would form a line of shields and or a fa, 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 la, phalanx. What's a phalanx? Phalanx. Oh. Did they do the Roman shit? That's the Roman shit. They're showing pictures from Wikipedia. It was a rectangular mass military formation usually composed entirely of heavy infantry armed with spears, pikes, cerises or whatever, or a similar pole weapon. Damn, so they were, they were doing this shit. Were they? <laughs> Fuck. Or were they just, you know, kind of retreating into a bubble? Phalanxes. BuzzFeed, you gotta fucking show me some video of this, or I'm not just, I'm just not gonna believe you. It's like they watched 300 a few times to gain ground. Okay, these are big claims to ground or shepherd someone, someone would throw, someone, wait, to gain ground or shepherd someone throw projectiles. It seemed that they had practiced this before. Dude, I'm fucking typing that up. You can't just say some shit like that. Okay, and fucking... Expect me to believe that they were phalanxing. Fuck. Guess it's time to ask Google. Hey Google. What is phalanx? According to Wikipedia, the phalanx was a rectangular mass military formation, usually composed entirely of heavy infantry armed with spears, pikes, sarissas, or similar pole weapons. Okay. So I guess you go. Oh, I was afraid that I was the fucking idiot and it was pronounced flanks. You know, how you flank somebody. I was like, oh no, am I saying this wrong? A phalanx or whatever. Okay, what was it? Uh, 
Char Charlottesville. Charlottesville. I cannot spell this fucking thing. Charlotte. There we go. Charlotte. I think that's a really nice girl's name. Ever mentioned that? No? Alright, well, I do. Charlottesville. Phalanx. You can't say this shit and me not, right? What really happened in Charlottesville? Okay, this is by Millennial Millie. That's a girl's name, right? Millie? Yeah, that's a girl's name. What really happened is three minutes long. We can watch this. Nine months ago. Hi, I'm Millie Weaver. Um, I'm a oh, Jesus, she's from InfoWars. You got a problem with InfoWars, Chuck? Yeah, that's, that's like mostly bullshit. At least in my estimates. Especially Antifa groups, radical communist leftist groups, because of the lies and propaganda that the mainstream media spews okay. about Infowars and Alex Jones. So I get attacked because of these lies, physically attacked. What does this have to do with so Charlottesville? This, uh, this lawsuit that's been put against um, Alex Jones and Infowars surrounds Charlottesville. I was there. In Charlottesville. Okay, what was that? What did that say? Alex Jones and Infowars. Hold up, I gotta write this down. Okay, what is this? Government Mc McLeife in Charlottesville. No place in America for alt-right. Refuses to condemn Antifa. Who is gov governor? Let's type that in, governor. governor. What is that, McLough? McLough? McAl. Ooh. Mick Aloof. Oh, How do you spell it? Yeah, Mickle Life or whatever. Virginia. Yeah, so he he must have been there. Six foot even. All right. What do you say? What was the name of the article? So he's getting sued for this. Did he write this article? I guess he did. No place in America. Has Google gotten not, not recommend Infowars? Dude, that's gonna be weird. Okay. They're not recommending it. That's kinda... Okay, I'm gonna type in the article word for word and see what happens. So let's pull it over here. And, uh... Right? Dude, this is starting to get a bit scary, right? If you're gonna type in article word for word and shit's not gonna come up. All right, well, let me check this. Okay, first one's ABC, next one's Wikipedia, Washington Post, Washington Post, WTVR. Now, I don't know if this is Infowars.com, right? It might be. Might not be. Hold up. Let me fucking write this shit down. Uh, the, the, what are we at? One, I'm at 108. 08, uh, what is this? Yeah, this is Infowars. Yep, Okay. Okay, so government McLaughlin Charlottesville, no place in America for all right. Let me type that in exactly, exactly. Sha, sha, Litzville. Put the apostrophe, no place in America for alt dash right, comma, refuses to condemn Antifa. Is this not coming up? Hold up, no. What is that? First one's Washington Post, second one's Post, The Guardian, third, Breitbart. Okay, it's Breitbart. Oh, okay, well, they shoved that way down there. I typed it in word per fucking word. And, you know, I don't know how Google works, so maybe it honestly just, the you know, the algorithm is just trying to pull the main words out of this and pull the main words out of that. But, dude, I don't know, maybe they're trying to put... Breitbart down here. Now, I've heard Breitbart's pretty fucking not correct. They, I, I hear they spew a lot of shit. I don't know. Because cause Ben Shapiro was... I think he worked there, right? Ben Shapiro. Ben Shapiro worked for Breitbart. Is that correct? Ben Shapiro. Okay. First one says Wikipedia. Ben Shapiro's departure. Breitbart published a piece saying Ben Shapiro betrays loyal 
Breitbart readers in pursuit of Fox News. What the fuck? Yeah, that kind of sounds like bullshit to me. Jesus. Okay. So Breitbart was it? Government shows. No. No, wait. What? She's saying he's getting sued for what? That the mainstream media spews about Infowars and Alex Jones. So I get attacked because of these lies. Physically attacked. What is she saying? Now, a lot of this, uh, this lawsuit that's been put against um, Alex Jones and Infowars surrounds Charlottesville. I was there in Charlottesville. I was the Infowars reporter on the ground reporting to okay. you guys what happened. We all know that the mainstream media afterward decided to spin a uh, a biased, one-sided. Alex Jones getting sued for a bunch of rogue KKK extremists come and attack a bunch of peaceful protesters out there. What I can tell you is that because Sandy Hook families versus Alex Jones, BBC.com. On social media, which those broadcasts went Judge rule against Andy Hunt and Alex Jones and for and Infowars and Sandy Hook lawsuit. There, there was violence on both sides, but I will say the overwhelming majority of the violence was coming from Yo, the cannot spell this fucking thing. Anti-protesters, the ones protesting people. Who were out All right, what's she saying? To stand up for protecting a statue, and yes, there were rogue elements on both sides. But one side came. Hold up, let's hear it again. Out there Hold up. The majority of the violence was coming from the Antifa leftist anti-protesters, the ones protesting people who were out there <coughs> trying to stand up for protecting a statue. And yes, there were rogue elements on both sides. But one. This is gonna be a bitch to edit later. Pepper spray. Tear gas canisters, ice chest full of water balloons with chemicals and urine and feces in them to throw, and that Is that was a thing? I'm typing that up. Through my ability to live stream wow. broadcasts on Facebook, on YouTube, on these social media sites with chemicals. Remove us from. I got the truth out there with Charlottesville. While at the same time, water balloons with water chemicals at Charlottesville. For being Infowars, I clear to both the Antifa and some of the radical elements on the alternative. Okay, groups. hold up. Is this Google? Is Google fucking with me now? Okay, so she said like there are water balloons filled with chemicals. So I typed in on Google water balloons with chemicals at Charlottesville. First thing that comes up is the same LA Times thing that we've been looking at. <sighs> It doesn't tell me that any of these words are out or missing. So this one's saying chemicals. Let me, all right, let's check it. Chemicals. Control F. Chemicals. Okay. Washington Post reporter, Joe Heim. Counter protesters fought back, also swinging sticks, punching, and spraying chemicals. Others threw balloons filled with paint or ink. Oh, I mean, if it's paint or ink, that's not too bad. I thought she was saying, like, fucking bleach or something. But I don't know. This is according to somebody from the Washington... Joe Hain from the Washington Post. A white nationalist. Everywhere seemed violence was exploding. The police did not move to break up fights. <laughs> Fuck that. Yeah, I'm not doing that. So I can get punched in the face. There's a little video from Daniel Shular. With the S-H-U-L-A-R. This is... Hey, fuck that. I'm a cop. I'm gonna go get a fucking bottle to the back of the head. Fuck that. I'm not doing that. Oh, are those the Nazis with the, uh... With the, uh... Shields? Shit, that's a fair point, alright? Damn. They are kind of organized, right? They all got the helmets. The bike helmets. They're all looking in sync. Damn. Oh, that's it? Okay. Okay. Well, okay, I see what you mean. You kind of fucking over... <sighs> that was a bit deceptive. Blake Montgomery, to say they had a phalanx. More so, it was like 12 guys that kind of knew, seemed to know what the fuck they were doing, right? If that's what you're talking about, then I get, I, I get that, right? You should have kind of... Specified that they're only like, right? How many dudes are in there? So there's four that we can see, right? That I'm like, look, they've got the shields. 
One, two, three, four. There's so four regular shields, two clear ones. That's six. Okay, I see two more clear shields, so that's eight. Yeah, it seems less than a dozen. Okay. But legit, like, even if, right, even if the Nazis, right, if you go up and punch them and then they punch back or whatever, do whatever the fuck they did with the shields, I can't, I can't blame them. Now, I don't know that that's the case. That's what I was originally trying to find out with this fucking article. So let's see what other people said. Okay. What are we at right now? Ooh, an hour, 15 minutes. I'll try to stop this for an hour and a half. Okay. Hunter Wallace, far right blogger at OC Dent. Okay. You're going to say a claim like that? I need to fucking verify that shit. Hunter Wallace. Where is he? A far right blogger at Occidental Descent. Hunt, Hunter Wallace. Wallace. What is it? That AI? Uh, okay, Daily Stormer. See, yeah, I, I, accidental, I, accidental descent. Yeah, all right. This looks like him. <sighs> what does he say? President Trump slows Syria far right. Oh well, they didn't say alt right, right? If they said alt right, then you know, I lost interest. It was honestly nothing but a sink of a time. There will always be child. Childless losers with severe mental issues like Eddie Gersensky out there. And this person named Molly, I guess on Instagram, typed in Brad. Griffin got pretty quiet after he was linked to the synagogue shooter. I wonder what he's doing with all the time he used to spend obviously posting about me. What? Brad Griffin. All right, we're not going down that rabbit hole. All right, I'll trust LA Times on saying he's far right. Yeah, I can do that. If you said alt right, then. But I don't even know what alt right means. I guess let's ask Google what we at. 17. One hour, 17. No, is it a 12? Nope, that's 20. Hey, Google. Define alt right. Here's the definition of alt right. In the U.S., an ideological grouping associated with extreme conservative or reactionary viewpoints, characterized by a rejection of mainstream politics and by the use of online media to disseminate deliberately controversial content. So that didn't inherently mean racist. Did it? An ideological, I'm putting it up on Google, right? Ideological grouping, Where's it? where are they getting this from? They don't say where they're getting it from. They just say dictionary. Really? They're not going to source that? Wikipedia? They're not sourcing it. Huh, that's weird. So did they make this themselves or what? Because there's like, you, you know, I'd prefer it if you source the word, you know, a very, you know, hot button word, you know. I mean, it's not like abortion. Well, I mean, but people know what abortion is. So alt-right, type it in, alt-right definitions. So what I typed in on Google and it's saying, <clears throat> in the U.S., in parentheses, an ideological group being associated with extreme conservative, conservative or reactionary viewpoints, characterized by a rejection of mainstream politics and by the use of online media to disseminate deliberately controversial content. So that doesn't, that's, it doesn't say... It doesn't say, like, white supremacist. Okay. Um, the alt-right, alternative right, is a loosely connected, somewhat ill-defined group of American white supremacists, white nationalists. This is according to Wikipedia. White supremacists, anti-Semites, neo-Nazis, neo-fascists, neo-Confederates, Holocaust deniers, conspiracy theorists, and other far-right. That is quite, the, that's quite different from what Google said. Google said, what? Basically, ideological grouping, da, 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 right? They got extreme viewpoints, and they reject mainstream politics, and by the use of online media to disseminate. What does disseminate mean? Disseminate, like, I think that just means like to, to, what is it? Unblock? No, what is it? Un, like, 
if something bullshit calling out bullshit spread widely. No? What? Oh, it means to spread widely, disseminate. By use of online media to disseminate, to spread deliberately controversial content. So that sounds like just trolls to me. That sounds like Pepe trolls, right? They fucking take content and they disseminate it or they spread it deliberately. Okay, by rejection of mainstream politics and by the use of online media to disperse widely, deliberately controversial content. Yeah, that sounds like a fucking troll to me. Okay. Wikipedia is saying something else. Should we go to Wikipedia or stay on this fucking thing? I don't know. Let's look at uh, back to the LA Times, see what they're talking about. I'm not going to read everybody's fucking posting. Joe Heim. What's Unicorn Riot? All right, whatever. Please then push the white supremacists out of Emancipation Park. <laughs> uh, fucking protesting as Nazis in a park called an Emancipation Park. That's, fu that's fucked up. Close the park. Please tell me the statue they did not put in the Emancipation Park. <laughs> like, you can have the park. We're gonna put a fucking Confederate general up there. That's, that's kind of fucked up. <laughs> yeah, in my, that's my opinion. Close the park. And they will continue rallying. The white supremacists took the, to the streets where they were quickly followed and confronted by anti-racists. Several more extremely violent fights took place. Uh, the, the, the. Oh. Yeah, what was that guy? Um, reporter. Who is the alt-right? Who are they calling the alt-right guy? Who are they saying? Joe Hang. No, what was that guy's name? What was the guy's name that we just looked up? Hunter. Yeah, Hunter. Wallace, if all right. Okay, the streets were not barricaded. So this is the far-right guy, according to them, that, you know, seems... I can believe he's far right. I, I, I need more evidence if you said alt right. Um, so the streets were not barricaded. This is according to Hunter Wallace. But streets were not barricaded. Violent Antifa, anti fascists, were not penned in their own area as per our agreement with the Charlottesville Police Department, but were roaming the streets and blocking the entrance to Lee Park. Generally, Park? Huh. I don't know. But it says Lee Park. They immediately launched an attack on our group with with mace, pepper spray, bricks, sticks, and foul liquids. The police stood idly by on the sidelines while a brawl was allowed to ensue. We had to fight our way into Lee Park and dozens of our people were injured by mace and pepper spray as we marched through the gown. But I don't think you get pepper sprayed. I don't think that's an injury. It just fucks you up. A little while until you get some. That's funny. Anytime, like, a homeless guy gets fucking pep sprayed, everyone's like, or no, the guy's like, hey, hey, fuck, ah, give me some water. And it's like, that's not gonna help. If I had milk, I'd give you milk, but uh, you know, pep, you know, pep spray this. Water doesn't help, it just makes it spread. <laughs> but you know, whatever. Okay, another far right blogger. From Occidental Descent. Now to begin Saturday's rally, the League of the South assembled at an area only a few blocks from Lee Park. I, w I myself was on the sh shield men. One of the shield men. Marcus Cicero. Okay, let's look that guy up. Fucking going to the left side. Mark. Where is it? Cicero. I mean, if you're kind of, you know, doing a shield attack, I don't know that that's necessarily evil. Seems kind of a defensive maneuver. Unless, you know, you're pushing it into people. I don't know. Shit. Pediatric. No. The fucking guy from, a. Uh, oh. I put Mark. Marcus. Cicero. Does he not have a internet? From Occidental... This shit. If I don't find it this time, we're done. A proud white man. Okay. So, OccidentalDescent.com. Right. <clears throat> Let's take a look at this. I haven't heard of this before. Occidental Descent. Is that the French flag? Yeah, is that the Yellow Jackets? No, what's going on? Is that the France thing? I mean, that's the French flag, I think. 
Uh, articles by Marcus. What did it say? Proud white man. Where did it say that shit? About, about him? A proud white man, devoted husband and father, accidental contributor. Okay. Nationalism, populism, reaction. I think pro action is a better rule of thumb, but you know, that's my opinion. All right, let's look. Now to begin Saturday's rally, the League of the South was assembled at a, a area only a few blocks from Lee Park. I miss nope. Is that Marcus? Yeah. I was he was one of the shield men. As we advanced down the street toward the park, I immediately noticed the horde of Antifa, BLM terrorists, and other assorted genetic assorted genetic refuse ready am i reading that correctly it's not like i'm shocked i'd be shocked but i don't know what this is saying okay beyond and other assorted genetic r refuse ready and willing to block the street leading up to our destination so he called them a horde of antifa black lives matter terrorists and other assorted genetic refuse is that an insult? A sort of genetic refuse. What the fuck? I'm typing that up. Sorted. Ah. Sorted genetic. Genetic refuse. Alright, well. I'm done with that. I've never heard that insult before. Okay. We watched that. Yeah, we watched that. Those shield guys. A right, unicorn right. Here we go. You are a ninja. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seemed like twelve or something. Twelve shield men. Oh. Oh shit! They got clubs. Shit! I don't right. If somebody block, if you're having a you know a, a rally. Or something, people block your way. I don't know that you're allowed to hit them, but you know, if they're blocking every path, like if they completely surround you, what do you do? Call the cops? Like the guy was saying that the cops weren't doing shit. But maybe they weren't. Didn't one of the the, the guys more so on the left say the cops weren't doing anything either? Huh. What? What, are they getting pepper sprayed? Damn. <laughs> Shit. Dude, fuck that. Just like... Huh. That is quite something. Dude, fuck protest. I'm sorry, but like, why would you ever go to a protest? Right? Like, if it's gonna turn into something like this, right? People are gonna get hurt and shit. Well, Chuck, what, what, what alternatives you have? I don't know. You can make a, you can be a pussy like me and just sit on a fucking computer and look shit up and see if you can find some, some dirt on people. Make sure people are telling the truth, or at least as, as, as well as you can. But, I mean, if you're just going to go to fuck with someone, right? Because what was it? The white... The protesters are... Okay, so they're having a rally, because you can peacefully assemble. And then they have an anti-rally against the fucking white supremacists, as far as I know. And I'm... I, I If anybody knows any better, please, like, to explain to me. Because I accept the fact that they... I accept the notion that there was Nazis and white supremacists that were there, and as far as I've looked into it, that seemed to state that seems to be true. If it's not, or if somebody's like, no, they were just you know like people, you know, they weren't racist or something. I don't know. If anybody has like another viewpoint on that, you know, let let me know. Uh, you can just put it in the comments or something. Or also, here we go with this Yorker talk. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's my fucking uh, 
email. Let me see. Oh, fuck Botswana. I don't want to fuck with that. Fuck Botswana. What was the capital again? Gaborona. Gaborona. Yep. Hey, right. the fuck was I talking about? Yorker talk at gmail dot com. Yeah, all right. Yeah, you want to hit me up with any uh, suggestions of something I should do or something? I guess this is a good place to end it, right? It's almost nope. It's past an hour and thirty minutes. Yeah. So if you got any um <clears throat> anything to say, anything you're like, no, that's not correct. Uh, this is correct, or you should check out this source, or you have your own opinion, or you have a recommendation for some shit for me to look up. Go ahead, hit me up at yorkertalk at gmail.com. So that's Y-O-R-K-E-R-T-A-L-K at gmail.com. Okay. I was going to do Yorker speech, but then it looked like Yorker, Yorker's peach. So I was like, you know, I'll just go Yorker talk. But other than that, you know, this seemed like a pretty good um, fucking session or whatever. Me rambling, right? Chug Bungus, everybody. I guess I should sign out. Uh, if you watch this whole thing, holy shit. Uh, I would send you fucking something in the mail. But, you know, it's going to be a bitch to edit. I need to, right, probably in the future, I'm probably going to have to pause a lot more and shit. Because uh, I fucking need to write stuff down, right? It helps me edit, whatever. Make sure, because I have a book of references, right? Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to talk about. Um, where is it? Uh, da, da. There we go. Yeah, I got my book of references. So for the last things, uh, if you want any references. Okay. So the first one I did, what was it? From CNBC. It was California prepares for a new war over soda taxes. And, it had, you know, the title has something else added to it. So I found that. That was January 6, 2019. That was Sunday. At approximately the 4 minute, 7 second mark. Or 4, to, four minutes to 7 minute mark. Something like that. That's when I, you know, refer to it. Uh, I don't have any video footage of that. That's before I found my capture card. And that was published by Jeff Daniels on Friday, September 7th, 2018. 314 Eastern Time. Okay. Uh, the last one I did. Was that the last one? What was the last one? Was it the 13th? 14th? 15th? I think it was the 15th. No, the 20th. Yeah. Was it the 20th? Yeah. All right. So from constitutioncenter.org, or you can refer to it as National Constitution Center or Constitution Daily or whatever. Um, what was this? Three, the Three-Fifths Compromise, Rationalizing the Irrational. So that one is in my January 20th, 2019 video, which is a Sunday, approximately about the 15 minute, 28 second mark, it was published by Donald Appelstein, or Appelstein, and guess what, this dude's a fucking Esquire, I don't even know what the fuck that means, let's look that up, ask meaning, okay, Esquire, yeah, <laughs> Squire, what, you know, what they used to call them. Okay, is usually a courtesy title. And United Kingdom Esquire historically was a title of respect accorded to men of higher social rank. Oh, Constitution Center. Is this guy from England? I don't know, Donald Appelstein. I just thought that last name was just so, like, damn. Oh, yeah, that was, he published that on a Tuesday. February 12th, 2013. So, like, Five, six years ago? Almost six? Damn, almost six years ago. So, yeah. Uh, from Wikipedia, I think in a... Yeah, from January 15, 2019 episode that I had. Uh, that was a Tuesday. There was the Park Chung-hee. That was from Wikipedia. And I didn't get the correct date on when they last updated it because they updated it after I said that. So I don't know how I don't know how you update stuff on Wikipedia. But and then there was the uh, three fifths compromise, which is in my January twenty twentieth two thousand nineteen video, approximately at the ten minute mark and thirty one second mark too, which was a Sunday. And it was last edited. It said at twenty three hours and fifty minutes UTC. What is UTC? What is that? UTC. 
time. What is UTC time? It was called GMT way back when, before 1972, but now it's called, referred to as Coordinated Universal Time or Universal Time Coordinated. It is coordinate time maintained by Bureau. Despa is also no what what fucking is it though? Yeah, whatever. I give up on that. But yeah, um, that was it said last updated December eleventh, two thousand eighteen Tuesday at the time. And it doesn't give you authors for Wikipedia at least that I can't find of. So yeah, so if we go by a website to where we find some fucking shit, right? Um, I'm gonna put it in this book, and then over time, you know, like LA Times, you know, how, how I'm coming from the angle that I think they're a little lean more towards the right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just put stuff down in the book and then notice, you know, so you guys can notice whether or not you believe that, right? If you want to come, you, so you guys can come to your own conclusions, basically. You're like, oh, no, this guy, this one's, you know, pretty far right, according to all the stuff that you made. And I'm going to be referring to my past video, so you know I'm not lying, so you can go check that out. Um, and please do, occasionally, right? Don't take everything I say for fucking like, oh, yeah, Chuck said it, so, so it must be true. It's like, you know, I'm not lying, but, you know, how would you know that, right? And how, how you would know that is for me doing this stuff and right. I mean, that'll be quite the Hail Mary, you know, just a bunch of fucking, uh, I just give you a bunch of fake numbers and shit, <laughs> fake names, but no, I'm going to have to write down, uh, it's going to be a lot of work. I got to write down all the names from the, uh, all the shit we looked up today. Uh, that's going to be a pain in the ass. Why did I make this fucking like two hours long? Anyway, yeah, that's about it. So that is it for January 26, 2019, um, Saturday, and it has been, for me, it's been about uh, an hour, 36 minutes, thank you for, yeah, checking out my rambling and bumbling today, and, uh, yeah, this is Chug Bungus, aka The Yorker, and, yeah, I hope you guys have a good rest of the day, alright, bye.